Hi YouTube. In this video we're going to take a look at a tracing light box. This one here happens to be an LED tracing light box. I haven't taken it out of the package yet. So I'll do that with you after this short intro. Well, I got this light box here. It was sent to me uh, from the company that is listed down in the description. So that is my disclaimer is yes, this was sent to me to review. But as always, I'm going to give my candid review. If I like it or don't like it, I will definitely tell you regardless of the fact that they sent this to me. All right. Before I continue on discussing light boxes, I think we should at least start taking a look at what the thing looks like. So this package here comes with, well, a USB power cord. Looks like there's a pencil in here. Get you started with a nice 2B pencil. Maybe focus would be cool. Return to nature. So it's a pencil la naturelle. See what else we got in here. All right, well, well packaged. It's a little clip. Find out what that's for in a moment. I have absolutely no idea. Is there anything else in this box? No, so that's it. All empty. Okay, good. So we'll put that to the side. Now, as far as light boxes go, this is a very thin looking light box. And I'm going to show you a light box that I've been using for a few years, off and on, that is way thicker than this one. So I'm really looking forward to this light box here to see how it will work out. And hopefully it will be the my new light box. Okay, well that's a lot of this nice protective material here. Get that out of the way. Okay, then we have, uh, let's see, this thin package here. And we have, this is a quality control thing, we'll just get rid of that. We have some instructions here, it tells us, uh, they call it a copy board, it's a tracing board, copy board. Uh, so it's called tracking, writing board, copy and cartoon, and it, okay, the kind of English is a little bit wonky there, so I'm not going to bother reading all that. I think I know how to use a tracing board. And this here, let's see what we got here. Okay. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we have some images and stuff. I guess you can you can put that right on your your uh, tracing box there, and then the light will shine through. And then you can, of course, trace this. And if you want to draw it or whatever, it's kind of a transparent or semi-transparent material. Same with this elephant. What I may do is I think I'll probably use these in a demonstration for um, these uh, colored pencils that uh, I received from another company and now I have something that I can actually uh, draw with that. I think, I'll, I think I'll do the elephant. So let's take this, but before I do that, I'll move that to the side there. Hey look, there's the camera. Can you see it? Reflection. All right, so Let's take a close look. This is a very thin, look at how thin that thing is, like card thin, very light, has these nice little cushiony things on the bottom here so you can lay it down on that. And then you can see very close up, they have these little tiny LEDs. There's like thousands of thousands of these little, little tiny holes here or, you know, they could be like tiny little LEDs. I can't tell you for sure, but it, they could be just um, 
uh, what do you call just areas where the light can go through and then you only have X amount of LEDs underneath but we're gonna test out and just see how nice and bright this is on the side you'll notice it has these measuring marks they look like they're in millimeters and centimeters of course one centimeter two centimeter I believe that I don't use millimeters and centimeters um, I know that they're pretty common outside the United States here we kind of gravitate more to inches and fractions of inches because we're you know backwards anyway so you can see it has this really nice panel here where this would be I would imagine the on off and it's really flush with this unit here so I don't know if it's touch sensitive or uh, if I'm going to actually have to put pressure it doesn't look like it takes pressure it looks like you just would touch it but we'll find out as soon as I of course plug it in now it doesn't come with a charger that you would plug this in so you already have to have one which a lot of people do these days because you need somewhere to plug in this USB I don't like to power things off my computer and draw off that power supply so I just use one of these and I'll just take this one off of my pencil sharpener you can see just get one of these online no biggie and you just plug that thing in here then plug it into your wall so I'm going to plug that in and now I'm going to find where this is going to go and it looks like it goes right here by the power button it has that right there so that's gonna go in like so and you can see a little LED has already turned on there though the panel itself is not on I don't think you have to actually wait for this to charge or anything I think it probably will react right away let's take a look I'm gonna go ahead and just press or touch I'm just gonna to touch this button here. there we go it just takes a touch that's all it takes is a touch now looking at it like this doesn't seem very bright so I'm very curious as to uh, how much penetration uh, this thing is going to provide when I want to start tracing so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this around so that I can get into a drawing position here and get that cord out of the way so there we go just like that and then I'm going to turn my lights off because I, I do have a lot of bright lights shining down for the camera here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. There we go. And I'm going to turn the room lights off. And now we have, we have something that we can trace. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this down like so. And okay that's great this is 90 pound drawing paper that I just put on here 90 pound drawing paper and as you can see you can see through that clearly and that's great and that also brings up something else that I have never thought about before which I'll talk about in a second but first off let me just grab a pencil here well okay that's one way to get a pencil okay I got me a pencil here this is just a regular number two pencil actually it's a number one pencil I'm so confused and I'm gonna go ahead and just trace so you just this outline here I could just trace this outline I love the fact that this light box is so thin and flat it's wonderful and I'm excited that uh, it looks like it's going to do really well in the area of tracing because I was kind of worried that the lighting here would not go through the um, paper okay I said I would I said I would tell you later what just came to my mind I'm gonna tell you now because while I'm tracing here it's not like I got a whole lot to talk about except what's really on my mind and that is once in a while when I'm not using the grid method 
or if I have to rush to get the initial grid done because I got other things going on and I want to get right into the shading and blending the part that I enjoy doing the most or for example let's say I'm having troubles getting a certain proportion correct and I've gone over it like a dozen times and for some reason there's just something wonky I might use the light box to see if I can see what part of my drawing is off compared to the original so I'll put one on top of the other and go oh look at that the light shining through this part it shouldn't and that helps me to locate like a Sherlock Holmes where the trouble is because sometimes you've seen you look at your drawings for so long that you're blind to the obvious and so sometimes it, it's great to have a, a tool that will let you go in there and double check what what's off but anyway uh, usually I just print my um, photos on photo paper or I'll print on copy paper to draw my grid on and all that stuff and I'll use that and I'll put it on my tracing box here like I was mentioning <clears throat> I have never thought <laughs> and I'm actually really glad that this came with these semi-transparent thin I guess they look like tracing sheets or something um, they got this frosted looking paper here but you can see light goes through it and they got the printout right on here so I'm thinking you know what I'm gonna buy me some of this paper and I can print my reference photo on this paper then use the light box then the light will shine wow what an idea what a concept I think I'll do a video on that maybe I should have kept it quiet before I do the video on it oh whoa whoa what just happened here <laughs> okay all right guys you're gonna love this but I accidentally touched that power button again and it got even brighter and brighter Woo! and there's my elephant okay so one touch that's what I was drawing with just that right there and I thought that was it and I was kind of worried that it wasn't bright enough but look at this look at this folks okay and I can go even brighter than that it's got three steps oh I'm loving this you know what I love it when someone sends me a product and I can get really excited about it. now I will warn you though don't let your hand rest on that like I just did because you're just gonna keep torquing it up but this this is a must-have product I'm serious I'm serious guys I'm serious if you are into uh, sketching and drawing stuff and you want to kind of get the initial outline proportions correct you know imagine how much work you can get done uh, for your clients and stuff if you can get this initial sketch down you can get right into your drawing and uh, less time measuring see the thing I don't like about doing initial sketches is it's so much measuring you're measuring 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 and unless you're into drafting which I am not into drafting that to me is not art that's just tedious tedious measuring and remeasuring and and this thing's so light you can just turn it around and you know make sure you don't move it around but if you do you can easily align it it's not a problem and I'm just gonna finish the outline I'm not gonna do the whole elephant of course not right now but I'll do it later because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually color this I'm gonna be doing a I'm gonna be doing some color pencils here that I picked up and uh, I want to talk about alright so I got the whole outline here and you know later on I can come in here and work on all these little flowers and stuff and get that all in there because I'm gonna I'm gonna draw and the colors shine through too so if you wanted to kind of color and now of course that's you know cheating but it's gonna be cheating anyway because you're if you're gonna color the same thing you're gonna take this off and then you're gonna go okay what color is that okay that's I'm gonna color it that color but you can do it right on this tracing box which is pretty cool because the colors show up I'm gonna get me some of that paper though I seriously am going to get me some of that paper 
once I figure out what it is. It's it's not just regular tracing paper. It's, it's almost kind of a thin vellum type of thing, a frosted, a frosted vellum type thing. And I definitely want to get that because that that just gave me a fantastic idea. And I just love coming up with some ideas here to make drawing so much more fun. All right. Okay, I think, you know, I got a little flower there. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to now, uh, let me turn that bright up and then it off. And there you go. You can see that I'm already getting my elephant on its way here. That is slick. Back on with the production lights. I'm blinded. But I am really, really thrilled. Look at that. That is so sweet. So sweet. Okay, guys, seriously. Whoops, just turned it on again. There we go. And turn it off. This is a really cool product. I'm going to unplug it so I don't accidentally start it again. But look at that. It's so thin. It's got these measuring things. It says air soft peak on there. Oh, that's a definite. Okay, guys, this is a cool product to have. And I, there's nothing more I can say about it. I'm glad that I kind of stumbled on because I didn't bother to read the funky English instru in instructions there. But uh, this is really, really nice. Oh, before I go yada, 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 yada about this, let me put this to the side and I got to be careful. I don't want to drop it. I got so much stuff on my desk over here. Let me show you what I had been using. Just to give you an idea here. I've been using this big old thing called the light tracer. Look how thick that is. And it doesn't use LEDs. I believe this thing inside has um, maybe like fluorescent bulbs or something. Let's see. I'm going to turn this thing. you got to hold the button down then release it. Yeah, you can tell because you see how the it just starts doing this because of the camera. Uh, that's different than the LEDs from um, that other unit that we just test. But this is my old light box, and this is not a clear. This is a frosted tabletop. And if I was to go ahead and grab that thing here, okay, you, you do not have um, multiple adjustments here for lighting. There's only one setting, and that's on. But there you go. See, that works just fine. I could see through that if I turn the lights off. We'll be able to see through that just fine. But I tell you, it is difficult to see through the um, regular photo paper. Oh, that reminds me. I should check regular photo paper to see how it works on that other unit. So sorry, I'm not done yet. Just happened to have my tiger photograph here. Let's see. Let's see how well this does with a tiger photograph. Okay, and get me a sheet of paper here. Now with this tiger, I just used the grid method, but I'm going to test this out here. Put this paper here. Okay, here we go. Let's get the light on. Okay. Okay, I can see that, but not very clearly. You can see it a lot better than I can, um, but I'm on the first setting. Second setting, wow, way, way, way better, way better, and I'm not even all the way yet, and then third setting, oh, look at that, I can see more details in here, fantastic, okay, great, let me shut her off, that's enough of that, fantastic, I'm happy. All right, guys, I hope you like this review of the Airsoft Peak, I guess. Airsoft Peak is what they're going to call it. Okay, you can call it what you want. Very thin, very light, very durable, it feels like. Love it. Love it. I'd say love it one more time, but I only got two thumbs. So, there you go. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thumbs up, please. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I love this. Okay. All right. Hmm. I still don't know what this clip is for. Hmm. Ah! Oh! oh.